Hi, hello, welcome to another 20 minutes till dawn video. It's me, Cranberry. Hopefully you're having a good one. We are going to be playing Lilith back gun. It's a pretty strong, it's probably Lilith's best gun. It's pretty good. We're going to be trying just to, again to get a really high kill count here, see what we can do. Uh, I am actually, I've decided to use the Shauna reroll jank. So we're going to be playing Lilith, but we're going to have Shauna's uh, reroll ability. Right before I started recording, I went, played a Shauna run, died immediately. And that way, the next character you play, there's a bug in the game if you didn't know. The next character you play will have Shauna's reroll ability. So we're going to be playing Lilith slash Shauna. And we're just going to try to get an insane bat uh, gun run. That's, that's the plan for today. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully it works. Um, yeah, yeah. See what we can do here. I think I think Bat Gun's a pretty strong gun. Lilith, one of the best characters for Bat Gun, but pr a little weak in the early game. Oh, I forgot to show the runes. Actually, hold on. Let's go back. I forgot to show the runes. People might care about that, so hold on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, but hold, hold on, hold, hold, hold. Rune page. So the way we're doing rune page, doubling up out here on power because it increases bullet damage and summon damage, which is good. We're going to be taking Elemental Barrage, but we're probably not going to focus on a huge amount on Elemental Effects. But anyway, we're going, we're going as offensive as we can go here, basically. We'll, we'll probably have some. Which is why I prefer this over Close Combat. Because we should be keeping enemies out of our vision range most of the time. Glass Cannon here, and then Cadence. I like Cadence with Bat Gun because the infinite piercing is really cool. The bats just fly around and hit things all the time. Uh, pretty strong. Over here on the right side, we're going Shield. Uh, we're, going, we're going Courage here for the increased reload rate. We're going momentum so we can pick up experience faster and move faster and things like that. Usually I like elemental shield, but we just, if, as long as we're just very strong, it's like, it's like a, the best defense is a good offense situation here. As long as we're just strong enough, we don't need to worry about getting hit. But because there's nothing really in the middle that helps for taking blessing here, because it's not bad. Uh, and then growth at the end, because who, who doesn't love bonus experience, right? So that, that's the runes. Now let's actually play the game. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I think we're gonna do well here, hopefully. I think it's no it's it's interesting how good oh wow, already a tough choice. Power shot or double shot? I think I'm a double shot gamer personally, so let's take that, but they're both very good. Not worth a reroll there. Oh you know what? Oh we lost a reroll. Actually no fuck. Because we had we restarted to uh play play uh Lilith and show the runes. Okay, well, I'm not going back now. <laughs> when the once again the entire premise of the episode ruined. Uh, these are all pretty fine. I don't hate magic lens here, but I think you just, we're going to be summon focused. I think just the early dragon egg is, makes sense. Dragon bond will be very good with the bats eventually. All all good choices there though. Now I wish we had the. Uh, the reroll because we do need to prioritize getting that uh, age dragon ASAP. Why is that man not dying? That's crazy. Hopefully, I, I think I said it at the start, but hopefully, we're having a good day today. I'm doing pretty well. Nothing too crazy going on. Just doing, just doing pretty good overall. Also, I lost my, I lost my damage shield. What the heck? Who hit me? wild um that's train dragon but they gotta save the fuselade here making making a lot of bats now we are lacking the direct damage we'll need for uh the reindeer currently but we have the dragon egg so even if we don't find age dragon the dragon will be pretty good at taking on the uh, reindeer i'm not too worried about that could take ghost friend i don't hate that here get some summon boosts as well off of that now i, be I believe the dragon has to be hatched for it to get the effects of ghost friend but i don't really care about the dragon <laughs> It's not that important. 
The only thing that's important about it is Dragon Bond on our, our back gun damage, if that makes sense, so... I, I don't care about, like, incre I mean, I guess increasing the dragon's attack damage is relevant then, actually, now that I think about it more. Increasing its attack speed, though, not very relevant. So we'll take that here. And also, maybe you just need to have the egg exist first. Maybe, maybe it still does work. I don't know. People have explained it to me, like, three or four times at this point, and I just kind of uh, absorb it short-term and then just, you know, expel that information from my brain soon afterwards. Um, uh, Power Mage is fine. Quick Hands is probably a little bit better here, though. Arm, arm, uh, we want Gun Master here, so Armed and Ready is pretty good. Not taking Mini Clip. Mini Clip definitely a bad pickup here. I, I'm I, I don't I don't know about Mini Clip, man. I keep I keep. <laughs> I keep hearing people telling me in comments, like, yo, mini clip's so good, and then I play it and it's not that good, and people are like, actually, you were right, mini clip is not that good. And then, also, H Dragon here is pretty sick, and then I stop playing with it, and people are like, yo, why the way, mini clip is so good, and I'm just like, I don't know anymore. I'm so damn confused. But I, I, I get the allure, right? The perk seems really good, especially for low ammo capacity weapons, but in my experience, it does seem to perform better just to increase your ammo size with, like, armed and ready and light bullets. For most guns. Cause cause, you know quality quality versus quantity is you know, everyone always loves to say like, you know, quality is better, but in this game quantity is pretty important too, because you need to you do need to put out a lot of shots. Right? You need to, you know you need to be hitting in multiple directions, I guess, kind of. It's not really how I want to phrase that, but that's sort of what I'm trying to say, I guess. Like, do you... Also, this is probably pretty good to have your Necromancer. 7 damage plus 20%. Also, the Dragon did hatch, so it does get the buff. That Dragon Stick is attacking pretty fast. I think I think it's getting the buff from uh, Energetic Friends. I don't know. Double double Ghosts, and then the summon damage boost there. Definitely pretty good. Uh, ooh. I think we just take Sharpen here to get... Or, take Light Weaponry to get Sharpen to show up now. The, the, the knife itself is going to be very limited impact, but we need summon mastery too, actually. So yeah, let's start taking that as well. We need a lot of different perks in this run. Lots of different things. Yeah, I think the uh, I think the movement speed perk is actually pretty secretly busted. And, and, by, and by perk, I mean the rune. We'll take the, we'll take the perk here actually because it's pretty good too. Because I want to go sharpen into the dual, dual wield, not heavy weaponry. Heavy, heavy weaponry does very little for us here. Um, I'd rather not take it. But um, the 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 rune that lets you move faster when you pick up experience, I think it is secretly very strong. And probably if you're trying to get like super high kill counts, the optimal rune. Actually, I'm positive the optimal rune to take there. Because the only other runes there are are, are defense runes like the uh, invincibility while. Uh, after causing 50 uh, freeze and or burns, which is fine, but like not actually that useful. Especially if you're trying to get like a high kill count, it does nothing, right? You know, it's purely defensive. We'll take rapid fire. Again, another requisite for gun mastery. The reindeer is here. I'm not worried, we have the movement speed to avoid it. The one downside of this character, is, though, is that the screen is very cluttered, which is not a little annoying, for sure. Teensy bit annoying, for sure. But like, you know, whatever. Okay, you're down. Tome of Rage is probably the way to go here for the increases. Although, eh, these are both fine. Let's, let's take the Tomb of Power actually first. I like I like the piercing effect. It's debatable, but I, I like having just base pierce as well. I know our cadence shots have guaranteed infinite pierces. But this is this is fine too. It's a, it's actually considering the, the fact that it's like a guaranteed more or less a guaranteed chance for the, the bats to follow up and pierce another enemy. 
It's like it's a huge increase in, in, in DPS. Which I like. Whereas technically the uh home of raid shots, they do net increase damage, but not by a huge amount. Uh I think we take Frost Mage here, we start looking towards Frost by Shatter. And then also more statuses means uh more triggering as of elemental barrage. Which is important as well. Uh, anything new to talk about? Anything interesting? Anything cool? So I've been, I've been putting more thought into it. I think I do want to try to do a video. I, I think I want to do some Vampire Survivors videos, maybe. I think though, someone made a made a comment about it that I thought was a really good idea. I think it would be cool to be doing like maybe like a little video essay thing, talking about the differences between this game and Vampire Survivors because I think that's an that's an interesting uh, subject at least. I'll take light bullets here because we do need, we do want death rounds and siege as well. Uh, both would be pretty good here. But um, but yeah, I th I think it'd be an interesting video, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't I don't know if I'm like equipped is the wrong word. But it's something that I don't have much experience with, I guess. I, I, I guess the the some of the, the Elden Ring videos I made are kind of in the same camp here. Also, Dragon Bond is an easy pick. Splinter also very good for this for the record in this run right now. But we need we need the Dragon Bond and Death Rounds first for it to be really strong. Um. So I I've, I've made videos that are not like straight up let's play content before. The uh, the video games journalist joke. It is from me making a video talking about a bug in Elden Ring, right? If you don't know it, it's my, my my most popular video on the channel is a video talking about a bug in Elden Ring that was being abused in PvP, uh, and it was really fucking dumb, and I didn't like it, and I made a I basically the, the there, there was a patch for the game the patch buffed shields uh, and like tweak some things around. And uh, the buff inadvertently made uh, there. There was some the, the way the game works. If you haven't played Elden Ring before, there's skills that you can you can you can attach to weapons, including shields. Um, and most of the shields have defensive skills that you can put on them. Like the, like the skills are limited to uh, what you can put on them based on the weapon type. So like most of the shield skills are defensive, but some of them were like a little bit offense oriented, right? And when they buff shields, they in it inadvertently buff some of these offensive skills to be way too strong. And and then in addition to that, there was a bug that made it so that way one of the skills, in, specifically in PvP versus like like enemies, one of the skills was invisible uh, to enemies client side. To the to the player, to the player casting the spell, it, it was visible. But to, if you were if you were using the spell in PvP. To the enemies, the spell had no animation and was invisible. And also killed you in one hit, which is important to note. <laughs> Big stand your ground here over Frostbite, but both pretty good here. But uh, yeah, that, that's the that's the, the, the real rub. Was that the ability was invisible and killed people in, in one single hit. Um, I mean, if you're interested in checking out the video, it is interesting, right? But the, the bug got patched. It got fixed, um, which is good. Um, me, what I'm trying to say here is that I've made videos like this before in the past where they've been more like, you know, not gameplay focused and more just oriented about like, I don't know, what I, I call, I was calling it video games journalism as a joke, but I think, I, I, it's not, it's not that far out of my wheelhouse I suppose to make a video talking about like, you know, and comparing and contrasting, uh, this game with Vampire Survivors. I think there's interesting things to talk about. That differentiate the two but i just don't know if i can make a good video about that if that makes sense i don't know we also now have the perks required for gun mastery so hopefully we should see that soon we do have dragon bond going although i don't think dragon has quite reached the same levels of damage as uh i'm trying to see if a fireball hits there oh actually no yeah fireball did 115 which means that the dragon bond should be doing you know 
at least 10. Or maybe, maybe, was that 115 or was that uh, 155? I don't know. I'm gonna look again. See if I can see a dragon hit. I, I can't even tell actually. Let's, let's not worry about it too much. I will take a frostbite here. We'll try to pick up all this experience on the borders. But yeah, that that that's oh reaper rounds. There we go. There, that's that's a that's a good one. I'm just I don't know. I want to I want to do more content. I feel I've been talking with some of my friends about it. Uh, some of my friends, some of my friends don't care about you know my YouTube stuff at all. But some of them are like you know kind of interested in it, and they, and they like talking to me about it. And uh, oh, I think you take dual. I don't know. These are all tough. These are all great perks here, except for rubber bullets, basically. Maybe rubber bullets is fine with that gun, too. Um, I kind of want to do a wheel just for the summon mastery, so we can kind of ignore it. But I don't know. What else do we need for summon mastery? Hold on a second. Summon mastery, eventual ghost. Do I have eventual ghost yet? No. I have energetic ghost. Okay, we should keep an eye out for eventual ghost here. But anyway... You know, listen, I like, I like making, you know, my, my, my Let's Play videos. They're very easy to make, right? I just sit down, I just, uh, play a game, and that's it. Very easy. Very simple. I upload the, the raw, uh, footage, and that's it, right? Uh, something, something like an actual, you know, like, video essay about a video game. A lot, not that editing is hard, but it's, it, it, it's, it's, it takes a lot of time sometimes. Uh, very timely, requires more thought, more brain power for sure. Opens you up to a lot more, uh, you know, people, people <laughs> insulting you for having bad opinions, which I usually, I would like to imagine, don't have. But the, the funny thing is, so going back to the Elden Ring video, right? One thing that I learned from that video, 80% of the people who watch that video, 80% of like the Elden Ring player base, I would say pretty, pretty normal, level-headed players able to uh you know have you know normal intelligent not even intelligent that's the wrong word to describe it but just like reasonable thought right able to be like huh you know what i can see i can see an, an attack that is invisible and kills people in one hat being problematic for pvp right i get that uh, and what's funny about it is that the attack isn't actually that strong once you know that it exists because the whole, the, as long as you, because like, there is an animation for casting the spell, it's just that the, the actual spell itself doesn't have like a, like an animated uh, hitbox or hurtbox or whatever on it, right? There's the, the projectiles from the spells are invisible. But this, you can actually see them casting the spell. Um, so, you know, you, the, the, once you know that the spell exists, it's actually very easy to dodge. As long as you're just strafing left or right, at like a normal just like you know moves like moving left to right directly that you you dodge the attack it's actually pretty easy to dodge once you know it exists but that was kind of like not the point of the of the video i guess it was like hey if you don't know about this ability you will die like you will just be one shot like guaranteed um which is like bad right like i think we can all agree like if there was an invisible enemy in this game that showed up at the five minute mark and if you didn't know it was there, it would walk up to you and kill you in one hit. But it stood, but it stood still and fired a very slow projectile. You would go like, "Hey, how about we make that not invisible? Because that's just stupid, right?" But like, and again, most people are like reasonable and are like, "Yeah, this is not a good design for anything. This should not exist." Eighty percent of people. Uh, Ten percent of people are like genuinely incapable of nuanced discussion, and are just like, "It's not actually that broken, and you're an idiot." And I'm like, no, it's not like a matter of it actually being strong, because yes, when you do know about it, it's not that strong of an ability. But this is obviously like incorrect. Like this is this is not working working as intended, and it shouldn't exist because it's like a knowledge check in a Souls game where if you don't know about it, you actually just straight up die. And the spell itself is obfuscating itself, so you can't even tell what's happening. Um. Right. So obviously not good. So like. 
Ten percent of people are are uh, are just actually just refuse to uh, talk about things in meaningful ways, and then the last ten percent are terrorists. I've learned who are just like, yeah, this is fucked up, but I'm gonna keep using it, and you can't stop me. And I'm like, sure, whatever, weirdo. So anyway, that's my general breakdown on Elden Ring players. Uh, generally been, uh, better for, you know, the gen the various roguelike games I've played, which has been the bulk of the content I have made, but every now and then you get some weirdos, for sure. I, I will say, uh, yeah, in sync here. General rule of thumb, the, the deck builder community. Uh, nicer overall, but sometimes you get like the real, uh, backseating is the wrong word for it, but you just get people who are like really like, I don't know, just, just assholes about being right, I guess. Cause like, listen, like, you know, a lot of the deck builder games I play, I would, I would consider myself pretty decent at, but I'm not the best player by any sense. Uh, I make mistakes pretty often. Uh, but I think most of the mistakes I make are actually, like, you know, there's a there's a reasonable, you know, like, logic behind the choices I make in the games. Although sometimes I just, like, I just don't notice something, right? Like, I just miss a card in a, in a, in a draft pool. I, I, I see one, and I go, ooh, that's really good, and I don't read the others. Right? Stuff like that happens sometimes. But, man... It's, it's really bad with Slightest Spire, and the reason for that is because uh, the the people who play Slightest Spire are so good at it that the audience basically demands perfection from anyone else playing it. Because, like, the, the top players, like like Mr. Mr. Jorbas and and others, uh, I know I, I know other people who play Slightest Spire. You got Baylor, you got uh, Terrence. You got is it is it Life Coach? Is that the one ex Hearthstone player? I forget his name. He plays. You got uh, ah. you got the guy whose uh, whose profile is the relic that does eight damage on your first attack. You got that guy. I know. I know. I think it's. I think it's. Uh, well, the relic is Akabeko. I don't remember what the guy's name is. Unfortunately, I apologize. Um, You've got a lot of, 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 uh... Oh, a Tome, Tome of Rage here is pretty cool. Tome, not Tomb, as we're all aware. Um, I would love Death Rounds, though. We have all the pieces for it. We just need to get some experience over here. Hold on a second. Give me, give me the experience, please. No. We'll take Penetration here. Assassin also would be useful. Um, yeah, the the audience for deck builders oftentimes demands perfection, and uh, if you if you mess up a little bit or make a slightly suboptimal play, they will call you dog shit, uh, and will you know be really really dumb about it sometimes. Not all the time though, but sometimes for sure. But that's a that's also a very slim majority. Most of the people, in my experience, are actually just pretty cool. So yeah. Uh, back back on doing what back on does here. Very much just murdering fools. Oh man, I think that death rounds over gun mastery, but they're both pretty solid here. It's about time we saw uh, mastery too. It took long enough, right? If we can get it to show up here. We also need we need shadow. We need so much stuff here. Shadow would be sick right now. These are all. Wait a second. The reroll upgrade thing was here the whole time. What the heck? What the heck? Sick. <laughs> Vengeful ghost. <laughs> I wasn't paying. I gotta. I gotta look more, man. I was so confident that resetting the run got rid of uh, the thing that I didn't even look, and I just assumed it was gone. When in fact it's been here the whole damn time, and I haven't noticed. That's that's wild. I 
and that's the thing too, right? If this was a, uh, uh, if you, if this was a deck builder game, you guys would probably be like, you know, actually trying to rip my head off. And I'm sure, I'm sure there's some people probably who either thought or commented, like, "LOL, the reroll thing has been there the whole time," uh, before they got to this point in the video. And that's that, that I'm okay with. That's pretty funny. <laughs> that I didn't notice it this whole time. But like, if this was a deck builder game, someone would be like, "Yo, I can't believe." You spend that whole game not looking at the the bottom of the screen there to see the reroll option. It's kind of incredible, honestly. This hurt to watch. Shit like that, basically. Oh, and being unironic about it too. Listen, you can you can you can type that now ironically, and I'll know it's ironic probably, unless you know you you specify you're not being ironic. <laughs> In which case. Uh, we're gonna have some problems, Buster. <laughs> Would still like shatter. Our XP is pretty low. I think our kill count to be pretty high. We're just like it's it's back then just scatters the XP so far around the place that it's hard to actually pick it up and level up. But I think we're gonna have a pretty high kill count here. Okay, these all suck. Reroll. There we go. Look at that. Wish I had this option the whole damn game. Still need summon mastery. But uh, this is this is obviously going to be killing a lot of people. Oh, we're not going to have we're. we're we don't have enough time to actually get any benefit out of summon mastery. So what are we talking about? In conclusion, in conclusion of today's episode, uh, maybe maybe doing some sort of uh, compare and contrast video. Though I'll probably just do some Vampire Survivors videos first, because like I said, it's so much easier just to do like generic let's plays. But um, when you when you when you think about also only nine K kills, I thought we were gonna be way higher than that. Whatever. When you think about what I think about YouTube content, there's really not many people who are just getting by. Uh, with straight up, you know, gameplay videos, right? Like all all of the big people on the on the site are doing cooler things. They're doing like video essays, or not even. I don't think it's fair to say cooler, but they're doing like things with more thought put into them. And I'd, I'd like to do more complex videos, I guess, or something. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>